Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the, finally reviewing the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. A few of you guys have been asking me to review this foundation and I finally got it. I bought the shade Natural Amber online. Hopefully it matches me. This foundation actually, from what I can see, it has an 18 month expiration date, which is a little bit more than what foundations normally have on them. Normally you would see either six month or 12 months for a face product so a few things about this foundation is that it has the coverage of a concealer but the fluidity of a liquid and the formula has the weightlessness of a powder it is long wearing waterproof and I really like that they made it clear that it has 12 hour coverage it doesn't say that it's gonna keep me mad or dewy or anything for 12 hours it just says that it provides 12 hour coverage which I'm really glad they said that just to clarify because a lot a lot of brands say 12 hour wear but you never know if they mean oiliness dewiness or whatever but they actually tell you that it's for the coverage so one thing I thought was pretty cool was that this foundation actually adjusts to your body temperature to help blend it into the skin the actual packaging is very luxe it's so nice and I mean it's it's an hourglass product and hourglass is pretty high end so I, I would expect it to be very luxe but it's very nice just in your hand it makes you feel like you're using something that's good quality so here's the way that the shade looks it appears to be like it's going to match me pretty well but we'll see so according to the website in order to get full coverage which is what I'm going to attempt to get with this product you do three dots on the chin three dots on the tops of the cheekbones and three dots on the forehead and you buff in with their brush but I don't have their brush so I'm going to use one of my brushes in tiny circular motions so I'm going to do that two three one two three one two three one two three so we're just going to do circular motions so I think those directions for full coverage may not necessarily be so I'm going to add a bit more and I do have two blemishes so I want to make sure those are covered so I just added a little bit more just comparing it to the last stick foundation that I just did the makeup revolution foundation looks pretty much the same as far as how I made my skin look it makes it look very smooth and I like it so far and I'm gonna add a little bit more on my upper lip and if you guys saw the review you saw that I only used a little bit amount I'm using more of this foundation of the hourglass foundation because I do want a full coverage look so I'm gonna add concealer and everything I just have to stop and say if this is not the smoothest foundation I've ever worn I don't know what is it blurred my skin out crazy like I had a bump right here you could barely even see that like it looks so flawless of the foundations that I reviewed I honestly think this is the smoothest foundation I've ever tried so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look hey guys so I finished the rest of my makeup and this foundation is still looking so good I applied it at I think it was about 840 and it looks so nice like I feel like I'm trying way more good foundations than bad foundations which is so good I'm really happy about this foundation I kind of feel like I should have been tried this I mean you guys been asking but I should have been tried this because this is so pretty so I'm gonna let you guys know how it wears throughout the day so just keep on watching hey guys so I am downtown and I really haven't looked at a mirror yet but I do know that my smile lines are creased because I can see that where I've been wearing my sunglasses it's come off a bit and on my nose I am sweating so I don't my nose and my upper lip so I feel like the foundation is kind of coming off there but yeah so I don't think it wears really well in humidity and heat but I will keep you guys updated for later on throughout the day when I actually get to a mirror because I haven't been in front of one yet. But yeah, just keep on watching and I'll show you guys what it's looking like after a few more hours. 
So hey guys, it is 3.05 p.m. So it's been on for about six and a half hours of wearing this foundation. I forgot to tell you guys the temperature today. Today it is 87 degrees and the humidity is 62%. So right here you can see that the foundation has come off a bit. I was sweating. I didn't rub or anything right there. It just came off. So that's the only thing that's different about the foundation is that it's gone right here. So I really don't like that about this because this actually has never happened happened to me before with foundations. My smile lines are creased like normal and the foundation has come off where I have my sunglasses but it was hot. I mean 87 degrees is hot but it's super pretty as an indoor foundation or just when the temperature is a bit more cooler and so yeah I really like the finish of it though other than that. So I'm not gonna forget this time I am about to do the flashback test. So I'll put the photos right here in a dark room there is flashback and ignore of course the missing foundation. <laughs> and in a just a well-lit room it has slight flashback so i would say that this foundation does have flashback so i think the foundation is pretty like as an indoor foundation like i said before but i would not recommend this foundation for like an outdoor event or humidity or anything like that because it did come off on my upper lip area but it's so pretty like i said earlier it's pretty much the smoothest foundation i've ever worn but i definitely will be trying this again i just won't wear it if i'm going outside which is not a big deal i mean you know i really like the foundation so let me know if you guys have tried this foundation on what you think about it. I'm sure you guys have different opinions, especially if you live in other areas, depending on the weather. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.